I'm Tech Girl Cat, and I am here to tell you about the 2012 Ford Focus, in this case, the SEL. I ordered this vehicle for myself. This is almost like the one that I'm going to get, so I'll tell you all about why I think it's awesome and why you should think so too. <laughs> the 2012 Ford Focus SEL has a four-cylinder, two-liter engine, which gets up to 40 miles per gallon, which is already a huge reason why I wanted this vehicle, because it's not tiny, you do have lots of space, it's amazingly sporty and gorgeous, and you're still getting the fuel economy. A couple other things, this one has 17-inch alloy wheels, it comes with the upgraded SEL package, which is gorgeous. And one of my favorites about the Ford vehicles is the easy fuel function. You press, and there's no cap. No cap! You just slide through it in, it slides right out, never get your hands dirty, and you just pop it back into place. It's like one of my favorite things. This is a flex fuel engine, so you do have the option of using um, either type of fuel at the gas stations, if you would like. And this is the hatchback. This is the five door. Now, when this is up, the trunk can look a little bit small, but you should know that this can come off. Um, the trunk cover can come off, and so you can pile all the way up, and the seats fold down. So really, it's almost like a mini, um, like a mini edge with the way that it's designed. This does have the 10 speaker Sony system, so we have a big subwoofer in the back, and multiple, nine other speakers surrounding the interior of the car. And we have the all-weather mats as well. Woo. Take a quick look at the back. This is the charcoal black leather interior. It's, I don't know if it's just me, but I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. It really looks like a luxury sedan on the inside. And it does have the rear console. It's a little bit extra, but it's worth it because it gives the people sitting in the back extra storage space, especially for um, holding their drinks. And then we have the interior of the front. It does have power seats, leather wrapped steering wheel, um, stitching on the leather seats, and the dash and the LCD screen is something really specific to Ford. Ford's really looking into the future. Hello. <laughs> Ford's really looking into the future and all their cars are just sporty and Ford looking. So if you want something a little progressive with a little more oomph, Ford Focus is going to be a great option. So now we're going to get in the car and take a drive and I'll just tell you about some of the things that make the ride so great. So now we're on the inside of the Ford Focus, which this has a 303A equipment package, which is the highest level equipment package you can have, but it's well worth it. The first thing that you see is the dash, the column, which is amazing. It has the My Ford Touch. This one doesn't happen to have navigation, but navigation is an option if you'd like it. Um, you have your temperature controls, and then you also have your Sony controls, which is um, an upgraded sound system, like I said, 10 speaker. They took a lot of time working with Sony to upgrade um, the sound quality, so it's like sitting in the middle of an orchestra when you have it going. It's, it's thumps, it thumps you. Um, we also have Ford Sync, of course, with a My Ford Touch, so your phone, your iPod, everything can be connected to this car, which is amazing. You can hear your text messages, you can call, you can receive calls. You can shuffle through your iPod all with your voice, so I don't know. It makes you feel like you're in the future. It's really cool. So something else that this car has, which is really pretty sweet, and I'll demonstrate by almost running into my house, is um, it does have the rear parking sensors. Now, this doesn't have the parking package, so you don't get the rear camera, and you don't get the um, super awesome parallel parks without you touching it, but it does have the rear sensors, which is really great, especially because the hatchback goes out a little further than you think it does. So we'll just listen. You can hear when we start getting close to rear impact. Oh, there it is. Woo! Now I know. I'm not gonna. If there's a child behind me, now I know. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the reasons why I like the Focus, um, especially and especially compared to other smaller sedans of its class is its peppy engine. I mean, it seriously goes the minute that you hit it. I mean, it just, I don't want to stay for it. I don't want you to get tons of traffic tickets or something, but it feels really great driving it. And it's super easy to move around. I mean, the maneuverability is, is amazing. This is just a great car. Something that I think is kind of funny is that I actually think this, uh, the uh, hatchback is a little sportier looking than the sedan. So I do suggest you test drive both and maybe see which one you like better. 
Okay, so if you've kept up with us at all, then you know that the tech girls, Kayla and I, always update with videos of how to use my Ford Touch, how to use uh, Ford Sync, and you might be sitting here wondering what the heck is that and why is it a plus? Well, I'll show you. First of all, what Ford Sync means is that's the connection that your car has with your phone and your iPod and your SD card from your camera. The My Ford Touch is the actual touch screen with the updated voice commands, which this one has. So, for example, you can control the climate with your voice. Please say a command. Climate. Climate. Say a command. Temperature, 65 degrees. Did you say 65 degrees? Yes. Setting temperature to 65 degrees. Um, you can also control your entertainment options. Please say a command. Sirius. Sirius, say a station name or number. Channel 36. Tuning to channel 36. So give you a chance to hear the Sony system too. So this Focus SEL also has the winter package, which has the all-weather mats, it has the heated side mirrors, and it has the heated seats. Those are all really amazing because it defrosts a lot faster, um, and having the leather really warms you up. So especially if you live in colder climates or like in Missouri when it can be negative 10 degrees, it's definitely a great option and it's really, really affordable. It's another great thing about that package. Um, some of the packages that you can get with this Focus that this one doesn't necessarily have is the parking um, package, which when mine comes in, I'm going to show you. Basically, you can be driving and it senses where a parking space is and you can take your hands off the wheel and it parks for you. It parallel parks for you. It also comes with a rear view camera and rear sensors. So, I don't know, it's just this piece of space age technology in a car that not a whole lot of people are offering right now. So go Ford. <laughs> the last cool thing about the Ford Focus SEL is its actual LCD dash. Um, it has four things on it that you might want to know. It has your trip timer, your odometer, your average fuel economy, and also has miles to empty, which if you're me is great because I'm always running on empty. <laughs> and so it's all really, really helpful and it's right there. And it's just moved with your steering wheel, just like this, like that. You get to see all your options. Thanks so much for joining me today um, on this review of the Ford Focus SEL 2012. I really hope you come in and do a test drive because this is by far an awesome vehicle. <laughs>